Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the major snow event that we saw on 10th of December 2017. Now you might be wondering why we're having a look at this. You may remember actually this event yourself because it was a classic marginal snow event. One of these scenarios where we don't have brutally cold conditions over the top of the UK and sort of scenario where one day it could be rain and the next day it could be snow. And in this scenario, we saw an amber warning for snow put in force by the Met Office. And we saw some areas with 20 to 30 centimetres of snow. And as I said, it wasn't a particularly remarkable pattern. Of course, it happened in the same winter as the beast from the east, but really has no links. This sort of event just shows us that we don't need massive blocking. We don't need beasts from the east or even sudden stratospheric warmings to be getting major cold. And this is something we always need to, need to watch out for, these sort of events, uh, especially over the next few weeks heading into Christmas. Um, of course, we're talking about the potential for some bitterly cold conditions, maybe towards the end of the year. However, we've got to keep an eye uh, on these sort of events that have the pot that can come off pretty much any time throughout winter, um, sort of regardless of the pattern. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if we do start in this video, have a look on the 5th of December um, 2017, and you can see it's pretty westerly sort of conditions. We look at the upper air temperatures, pretty mild with southwesterlies. You can see it's not too much cold air to our north, and it looks generally nothing out of the ordinary. Now, as we continue through... You can see there is a brief ridge of high pressure building up towards Greenland. Nothing exceptional, something we see quite regularly throughout the winter. A brief ridge, and we see a northerly wind. And it looks like a typical sort of topple pattern. And we see this northerly wind push in, and you can see there's no massive blocking over Greenland. There's just a brief ridge of high pressure, something that doesn't take too much to sort of come off. And you see, we see a sliding low along the jet stream, which is slightly pushed to our south. This sliding low created the major snow we saw on Sunday, the 10th of December. And you can see that low pushing through, rapidly deepening um, as it spreads southwards, giving very, very heavy snow across many parts of southern England, central England, parts of Wales, and into northern England as well. Now, because it was a majorly marginal snow event, some areas, of course, in the south, stayed with rain. Um, where I was, near North London, we saw it start as rain and readily turned to heavy snow by sort of mid-morning. Um, and we saw in the end 10 centimetres plus. So it was hugely marginal. I know some people south of the river didn't see anything. And just saw maybe a few flakes here or there, a bit of sleetiness, but no massive accumulations. And it's pretty typical for these sort of marginal events to be seeing these massive drastic um, contrasts in snowfall amounts. Um, and that's all because we have really quite mild air bumping into really quite cold air. Now, if we continue beyond that, you can see after that, it just goes generally a quite a westerly pattern. Now, of course, there is a bit of a pattern of blocking towards Greenland, but nothing crazy by any means. And we just generally stay westerly through the rest of that December. Um, so yeah, really, really interesting seeing this sort of pattern come off. And again, it's one. It is, it's always a reminder to have a look at these sort of events um, as sort of a reminder now that snow it can never be, um, can always be really quite close. Um, I mean, we're always thinking about, oh, when's the next big block coming? When are we seeing easterly or northerly winds? Getting that minus 10 line through, for example. But as you see in this scenario, you really don't need that in terms of certain snow events. Of course, it is very marginal, as I said, and it does have to come off exactly um, with the precise um, sort of boundaries to be getting the snow. Um, and if we do have a look at the upper airs, we'll see where those boundaries were. And you can see pretty mild initially throughout the first week of December. And by the 7th, 8th, we do pull down that northerly wind. Pretty chilly air mass does move through, gaining around minus 7, minus 8 degrees at 50 HPA. But you can see it's not going to sustain itself, and you see the sliding low. We stay in this minus 5 line for a couple days, so it did allow the ground to cool down. We, as we'll see with the 2 metre temperatures towards the end of the video, we'll see that the ground temperatures were pretty cold the, the nights before, which allowed the surface to cool down with a few frosts, and that meant snow was 
more able to stick whereas sometimes with these marginal events um it's normally cold air coming where we've had milder conditions um so it means it doesn't settle as readily so in this scenario we did have the fact that the ground was pretty cold which did benefit snowfall amounts but you can see that really mild sector moving through the south but never really pushing much into the British Isles and moving into Europe and we pull back in some colder air in from the north nothing massively cold we saw temperatures dip down into around minus five minus six minus seven degrees throughout that Monday and Tuesday evenings really bitterly cold um, and it meant we had a lot of ice around very dangerous conditions as in the day it was still around a degree or two above freezing which meant the snowfall gradually melted before really freezing quite hard overnight and beyond that we stayed generally westerly um, with small little northerly infusions so we do now have a look at the pressure charts towards the surface now we'll start on the 9th of december you can see we're in a northerly flow under very reasonable low pressure and then as we free Saturday evening into sunday you can see that sliding low 977 millibars sliding through parts of southern wales through southwest england and through the london area really and eventually clearing off to our east before going back into more of a northerly flow before going westerly once again. So you can see how it's the exact track where the sliding low went, which gave us this snow event. Again, very, very marginal and subtle shifts in this um, track would have given major differences where we saw the snow rain line and snowfall amounts as well. Now, if we do have a look at the upper air temperatures, which will show this really quite well. Now, as we run through, you can see most of the British Isles by early hours of Saturday around minus 7, minus 8 degrees at 850 HPA. It's so moving colder air just to our north, but we are focusing generally on England and Wales for this snow event. Now, beyond that, you can see really quite mild air, 7 degrees at 850 HPA, pushing into the far southwest. And across many parts of the Midlands, we're still down to minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And once again, this shows you, you don't need, or you don't have to have the minus 5 line upper air conditions to guarantee snow. Of course, you do need cold air. You need it below freezing. Um, and you need those dew points below freezing, which they were here because we are still in that polar air mass. It was just this warmer sector of trying to push it away. And as you can see, as we run through it, it never really does, and that cold air does sink southwards again. And it's along that line where we go along that sort of one degree, uh, minus one to zero degree line, right through central southern England, across the south coast, into the London area. That's where we saw that rain snow line, and that's why we saw snow falling further northwards of the M4 and the London area, and to the south, more rain. But these milder conditions, more moisture, which meant that snowfall that fell across central England into parts of Wales and the Midlands, maybe parts of northern England as well, saw some snow. It was heavier. It was really quite heavy. Because we have had siding lows like this before, but they haven't had much of a milder sector. We had one similar towards the end of January 2019, which we saw some moderate snow for many places. But it was a all snow event in terms of all the precipitation falling out of the sky was snow because the milder sector within the low pressure system that was fueling the precipitation wasn't that mild at all really um, and most areas actually saw snow heavier snow was initially on the south coast as the low pressure arrived and it stalled during that second afternoon across central southern england elsewhere we only saw a few centimeters and it's all because we haven't got that much milder air bunching up into the low pressure system whereas here we really do we have a big temperature contrast meant that precipitation was really quite heavy now if we do have a look at two meter temperatures which once again show this really quite well where these were the temperature contrast you can see early hours of saturday around freezing at the surface which allowed those ground temperatures to cool down and for saturday temperatures hardly getting above freezing, one or two degrees across many parts of central England. And overnight Saturday, once again, seeing a more widespread frost, which allowed those ground temperatures to cool once again, allowing snow to settle readily. Now you can see that real mild sector towards our south, 13 degrees in the channel, past southwest England, seven or eight degrees by the early hours of Sunday. And by midday on Sunday, 10 degrees potentially in Isle of Wight and along the far southwest in Cornwall. However, you go to London, maybe one or two degrees and slightly further north around one degree to freezing massive temperature contrast and that is what fueled this major snow event um, with those bitterly um, 
cold air, just one north, minus seven degrees over Scotland, and um, the uh, really quite mild air just to our south. And as we move through, you can see eventually that milder sector moves through, and you can see quite a cold night uh, Monday evening, uh, around freezing quite widely, and then through Monday afternoon, only getting up to around freezing one, two degrees, and areas where we've had the heaviest snow, not getting up or freezing at all. And then Monday evening to Tuesday, that's where we saw a massive freeze across um, areas where we had the snowpack, getting down to minus eight across parts of the West Midlands into Wales and widely even into London, minus three, minus four, minus five degrees. And it meant any snow that melted during Monday froze once again, making really quite dangerous conditions out there, really quite cold. And as I said, it's not for a particularly exceptional sort of scenario. As, as you'd be saw by the pressure charts, it was just a small brief ridge that headed towards Greenland for a day or two, giving us a colder, con colder conditions for a couple of days, and we saw this sliding low move in. Now beyond that, you can see things generally turn milder once again. Still a bit cold at the surface, we do have lingering cold around, but getting up to maybe 6 or 7 degrees in a few of the days, and generally not being too cold at all. And as we head towards the Christmas period, it actually was really quite mild, around double digits for many throughout the days leading up to Christmas. So drastic changes there uh, during the middle of the month. Hopefully we don't see that this year. I doubt we will. It definitely does look like it will be cold, if not really cold, during the festive period. Um, we'll just have to see what happens with that. Now, if we do lastly have a look at um, the precipitation, which is the most important part, remember, with a snow event, of course, it's the snow. Um, so if we do look through, you can see there are a few wintry showers heading through Saturday. And then the weather front pushes in from the southwest through Saturday evening, arriving through the early hours of Sunday through many parts of Wales and into central southern England. And you can see where that snow line was across central southern England. And of course, maybe some falling snow in London. And as I said, some areas saw very little snow, again, all down to urban heating because it is so marginal. So I suspect some areas of suburbs of England, uh, so, so, sorry, suburbs of London saw snow, whereas all central areas saw less snow. And you see by 6 a.m. on Sunday, heavy snowfall across parts of the Republic of Ireland, Wales into central England. Um, and yeah, really quite heavy stuff. By midday, that snow is still heavy across many parts of central england across the south coast of course very minimal and beyond that the snow slowly clears through the evening and by the early hours of monday it is cleared from the southeast um and yeah really quite heavy snow there and some major accumulations as well of course and all coming from this marginal scenario um we will definitely see scenarios like this happen again it will be very marginal. We'll see some of them come off with really quite snowy conditions, and we'll see others where rain takes over. Um, and that's just the nature of these sort of marginal snow events. Of course, we haven't seen like one majorly like this, potentially since um, I must say probably January end of, end of January 2019. When we saw, we did see a sort of marginal snow event for some last winter. Throughout the end of January, once again, before we got that really freezing cold conditions in the early February. Once again, that was we had a quite a cold conditions, and we saw a sliding low, a uh, bit of an occluded front. Again, it was more localized in terms of some areas only saw a bit of rain, some areas didn't see the heavy snow at all, um, and some areas across the North Midlands saw a lot of snow where the uh, band did uh, sort of freeze and stay stationary. But this sort of event in 2017 was really quite large, covering quite a big area and dropping 30 centimetres of snow for some. And the big thing is it didn't come from any spe spectacular um, sort of pressure patterns. It came from sort of standard uh, winter pattern. Of course, we needed that cold air to the north that did plunge southwards with that brief northerly. And of course, it's very helpful when we have a cold, uh, cold air just to our north. And of course, we need that jet stream shifted slightly southwards. So nothing major happened here. Um, in terms of the pressure charts um, and again it just shows you we don't always need the brutally cold um, pressure charts with beasts from the east or northerly plunges to be seeing major snow and this is just something we need to keep an eye on of course every winter because these scenarios can crop up very very quickly um, even in the short time frame we can be going from a bit of a northerly wind with the potential of low pressure pushing back into that low pressure being slided slightly further southwards and suddenly we're looking at a marginal surf snow event so these sort of scenarios that we've got to keep an eye out for because they could really over deliver sometimes like they did in december 2017 and one thing i also haven't mentioned is that for many areas in this event 
rain was forecasted, especially just to the north of London um, and for parts of the Midlands. Rain was initially forecasted until it was changed sort of at the time it was falling once um, uh, it became apparent that 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 rain line was not shifting much further northwards um, than sort of the M4 into the South London sort of area. So yeah, an exceptional sort of event from a not particularly exceptional pressure pattern, and it's just something we've got to keep an eye on over this coming winter, the winters to come. Because of course I know a lot of people do enjoy snow, and are always looking out for bitterly cold operational runs or ensemble charts and this sort of event just shows you you don't always need that to be seeing a wintry wonderland where you do live so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon